five points. But let's talk about a couple of stocks that are doing well from the broader markets. ITD Cementation, the numbers look quite good. And the street rate spy to see who exactly will pick up the promoter stake. Vivek joins us to fill us in with more details. Vivek? Well, that's right. You know, first, let's have a look at the numbers themselves. Quite a strong set of numbers. Remember, most of the EPC player, most of the infra players actually have seen a subdued quarter, both in terms of execution and also in terms of order inflow activity. In that sense, you know, IT cementation in that context seems to have done very well. Uh, so, revenues high by almost 30%, indicating strong execution, even in this subdued quarter, coming in close to the 2,381 crore mark. EBITDA higher by 37%, margins too very strong, almost 50 basis points higher on a year-on-year -year basis. On the back of that, profitability higher by 92%, almost doubling. Now, at the end of Q1 FY25, the order book stood at a little over 18,500 crore, uh, which are, indicates, you know, it's actually been a little bit softer compared to the end of Q4. So, order info in this particular quarter was just around 1,053 crore. Now, why are we saying that's quite soft? Given the fact that the company at the end of FY24 actually said that they're targeting order order inflows of close to 8,000 to 10,000 crore. So, you know, a significant portion of order inflow activity, the company will have to recoup from Q2 onwards. Now, talking about uh, what is it that the management has guided in terms of revenue growth, a 20% plus revenue growth guidance and an EBITDA margin of close to 10%. Well on track at the end of Q1 to meet the revenue guidance, uh, uh, given the fact that they've done almost a 30% top line. EBITDA margin, 10%, they're still a little bit away from that, so it'll be interesting to see whether the company can reach that. But more importantly, remember, you know, the parent, that is ITD, has already said that they're looking to divest their entire slightly over 40% stake in the company. All eyes will be on, you know, who will be the eventual buyer of that particular stake and more importantly, at what price does this particular deal actually fructify? Thank you very much for that. Let's get